Machine 2 works really well within Logic, and you may have projects that you want to bring in for additional processing and mixing. Now, within your Machine 2 project, you probably have lots of sounds within on a different mixer channels. Within that scenario, it makes sense to bring it into Logic on individual channels. So, to do this, I need to go down to the uh, instrument here, and I'm going to bring in my Machine 2 plugin. I'm going to do this as a multiple output version. And then I'm going to bring in the project that I'm working on. And you can see here, if I go to the mixer, we just have a look at the drums. You can see that each sound has its own mixer channel. Now, let's hear what's going on. Now, let's just speed this up a little. So the idea is that I want each of these individual channels to output onto an individual Logic AUX channel. Now to do this, the first thing is, is to set up the output routing within Machine 2. So I'm going to come down here under the channel, and where it says Group, I'm going to change this to External. So these are the Stereo Machine 2 output channels. So let's come through to 4 and 5 and so on. Now you'll also notice that I have a bass playing here. And this bass is, consists of two different sounds making up the entire bass line. Now in this scenario, I don't actually want to output the individual channels. I want to process these together and bring them in to one channel or one stereo channel on Logic. So to do this, we need to set up in a slightly different way. I need to come down to the group level here and you'll see that the uh, bass group appears. And then I want to come to the routing and take this routing and route at the group level. So let's set this one up on external 8, like so. Now with all of these set up, if I come over here to the Logic Mixer, I can now use the plus on the software instrument to create the additional auxiliary channels that I'm going to need. So I'm going to need 8 in total. So now when I hit play, we have each of the sounds from my drum group. So here's the kick. Makes sense to label up as we go along. There's my snare. It's a clap. Open hat. Okay, we've got a ride there. And then finally, we have the two individual bass sounds rooting together. So with the output routing set up, it now means that I have full control within Logic. So for example, I can do things like group all the drums together to process them all in Logic. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download, and he sends me back a DVR, which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this kind of steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's, that's a real kind of hook of the track, this. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay. And you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack. And uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net. Don't, 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 don't,